Right, this is a million volt test apparently, a thousand kilovolts in these units, powered by a DC bench supply, which is on and zeroed. I'm kind of nervous, um, I didn't test this before this, this is the first test. Um, I've got, see the markings, so these are 15 centimeters apart, and so if we get 150,000 volts, and that should arc. Um, this is so that if it is a million volts, which would be like four feet or something, um, it's so it arcs to the copper instead of arcing to my body. But uh, I'm going to be twice as far away as that anyway for the test. Um, okay, power supply on. Pump up the voltage. Two volts. Three volts. Four volts, drawing one and a half amps. I can hear crackling in the unit. So I'll turn that off. Okay, I've gone down to five centimeters, 50,000 volts. Let's turn up the voltage. One volt. Two volts. Three volts. Four volts. Five volts. The unit's crackling. 1.8 amps. I'm going to turn that down. Well, it's certainly not a million volts. Thank God. I'd probably be something would be fried by now. Um, let's quickly, can I do this with one hand? Yep. Um, let's just go to two centimeters. Where's my hand? There it is. Two centimeter gap. And power up. One volt. Two volts. Three volts. Four. Five. Okay, we had some possibly internal arcing. There's no warmth though. Well, that's pretty crazy. Um, well, as in nothing happened at all crazy. Let's put them one centimeter apart. And give it some welly. Okay, so we can do 10,000 volts. It's nice to know. I really want 30 minimum for my experiments. Two centimeters do get 20,000 volts. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Okay. That was five volts and two amps. Mm, so 10 watts. And we got um, 20,000 volts. So at the limit of my power supply really, obviously we need more current, um, so I'll have to upgrade this very old DC bench power supply. Great, thanks for watching. Bye.